Caveman here and welcome back and today I'm going to talk about the top three ways to make money in Grand Theft Auto online this week. So make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new and let's get straight into the video. The Diamond Casino adversary modes are double money and RP. They're from the start menu. You want to pause it. Jobs online Rockstar created adversary mode. Then you scroll down here. They are double money and RP and I will briefly talk about which ones are worth doing and the payout juggernaut is the popular one so this one is very easy to match make for both teams have one juggernaut one armored person and both teams are trying to take out the juggernaut as fast as possible the payout for winning around is 5.7 K and the payout for losing around is 3.3 K the rounds are very fast it took about 10 minutes to finish two rounds and the payout for that was 20 K so juggernaut is a very fast mode and the payout is very good on top of that, it's very easy to find people to play Juggernaut. Slasher, another very popular mode, so you should have no problem finding people for this. Slasher, unlike Juggernaut, is less of a PvP. It's more a hide-and-seek. It's basically 7 vs. 1. You have one person with a gun trying to kill you. You have a flashlight, and you can kill them with a flashlight. It's not very easy. You're better off hiding. Only attack them if necessary. But if you hide long enough, then it switches and you have guns and you try to kill the slasher. The mode is in complete darkness, but if you are being the hunted, the controller vibrates when the slasher is nearby. The payout is 10k for a win, 5.7k for a loss. Playing 3 rounds took about 25 minutes and this is the payout. 72k for winning 3 rounds. Really good payout. The rounds are fun and it's very easy to find people to do this. Definitely worth it. Entourage is pretty fun. One team has night vision. The other team has flashlights and has to defend one teammate. The night vision team only has knives. They have unlimited respawn, but the bodyguard team has one respawn. The bodyguard team is supposed to extract their target and the night vision team is supposed to stab them. It takes a lot of stabs to take them out. The payout is 10k for a win. 5.7k for a loss. Round lasts about 5 minutes. Every bullet counts. This mode you only have 4 bullets. Basically everything is one shot. After you kill them you get to pick up their bullets to get more bullets that way. The payout is surprisingly balanced. Even losing everyone got 8k. That's because the round lasted the maximum amount of time. Trading places. With this mode there's 2 teams and you switch teams based on whether you're winning or you're losing. Whether you're getting kills or you're losing. The round lasted about 4 minutes, 16k for a win, 8k for a loss. Kill quota is probably the funnest one. You start out with a rocket launcher inside the casino, so it's super easy kills. So after you get kills with the rocket launcher, it unlocks a new gun, minigun, and then you unlock more guns until you get to a machete where you need to get one kill with the machete to win. The rounds are pretty fast. It took about 15 minutes to play 3 rounds. 52k for winning, 10k for round wins, and 5 or 4k for round loses. Open wheel races are double money in RP. You can launch them from the quick draw menu, or you can launch them from the pause menu underneath the races. Open wheel races or the F1 cars. Some people like them, some people hate them. It might be because there's a lot of laps you have to do, but that in a way is good for making money because the longer the races, the more money you make. You need high lap count, high race time and a lot of people for the payout this is the payout for roughly an f1 race so the top earning are from the top places if you have a super yacht the super yacht missions are double money in rp the missions are very easy to do you can do them solo the mission took about 15 minutes to do and this is the payout 32k that's decent, but you didn't buy the super yacht to make money off of it. There's other properties you can make more money for instead of the super yacht. So summarizing this week, you can make roughly about 150k running the adversary mode casino. The open wheel races, they're not really worth running unless you're winning top all the time. And the yacht missions are only worth doing if you have the yacht already. Don't buy the yacht just to do the missions if you need money. This week isn't that great for money. The past few weeks were really good for money. But that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you for watching and I am out.